Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cartography. In the previous session, we were discussing on the major procedures undertaken during the compilation process of a map. And one of the major procedure is map generalization or generalizing the features and selecting the important ones in a map. So in today's cartography, we are going to look into map generalization. Generalization refers to categorizing the features and eliminating visual complexity by simplifying the outlines of a map. We all know well that our earth is too large and its phenomenon is too complex for anyone to grasp much through direct observation. Hence, generalization provides solution to this problem by reducing the complexity by eliminating unwanted details. The overall aim of generalization is to enhance the map communication. There are four major elements for generalization. These are classification, simplification, exaggeration and symbolization. We will move on with classification. Classification is an intellectual process that groups similar phenomena in order to gain relative simplicity. The goal of the classification is thus to express the salient character of a distribution. Classification is the ordering, scaling and grouping of features by their attribute and attribute values. There are two common ways of performing map classification by a cartographer. One is through quantitative way and the other one is through qualitative wise. The next step in the map generalization after classification is simplification process. In the simplification, we determine the important characteristic feature of attributes and eliminate all other unwanted details. Take the case of a drainage map. The drainage net work will only be shown and other unwanted cultural details will be eliminated so that the main feature of the drainage and all the water resources will be preserved and will be useful for the user. There are two main objectives of simplification process. One is to reduce the amount of information to the map's ability so as it can portray legibly at a given scale. Second is to maintain the essential geographical characteristic of the mapped phenomenon. After simplification, we go for the exaggeration process. When we use exaggeration, we deliberately enlarge or alter a feature in order to capture its real world essence. Sometimes we use to exaggerate the roadways or settlements to show the density or the depth of that phenomenon. If we want to map a meandering stream at a smaller scale and if we use only simplification, the real essence will not be felt for a small meandering part of a large river. Hence, we exaggerate that part to make them as a real essence. After the first three procedures, we go for symbolization. Hence, the cartographer, after applying classification, simplification and exaggeration, he is ready to translate all the graphic marks on a map. And this process is termed as symbolization. Thus, symbolization refers to adding of certain graphic marks on the map to represent certain facts or features of geographical character. We generally use some line symbols for linear features like rivers or drainage or road work, aerial features to show for settlements, point features to show small features like post office or some buildings or school or any cultural features. Now let's look into what are the major problems while we generalize a map. 
the problem of course line is one of the important problem happens during the generalization procedure generalization of course line is often a very difficult task different maps of the same area give different course line however all of these are correct but when the mean sea level and the actual sea level are being found we are generally not able to find the same besides in some cases the changing course line also poses a problem during the generalization generalization of boundaries is also a difficult task on a small scale map a little movement or a small movement of our hand may lead to great distortion and this will result in international disputes you know the major disputes between the indo china indo pak and many countries around the world the generalization of rivers and other hydrological data also poses a serious problem when a map is reduced it is very difficult question that which river has to be shown and which has to be eliminated the degree of generalization also differs from one map to another map i hope you have enjoyed today's session post your comments or suggestions in the comment box or through the at moro i wish every learner a great experience thank you and have a nice day